Welcome to the Eviva Experience, a podcast for women facing the emotional and psychological fuckery of midlife. Hi there, lady. My name is Sarah Tuckett, and I am a somatic psychotherapist and dance movement therapist based in Brisbane. Let's get on with the show. It surprised me how little it took to push post-menopause me from my usual sunny mood into one of greyness and frustration and bleh. All it took was one night of crappy sleep, not being able to get to my usual early morning Pilates class, which gets me actually up and out of the house, which is important because I work from home, and the grey, cooler, drizzly, English-style weather and a neighbour using a power tool so I couldn't record a podcast in my precious spare hour. I felt stymied, frustrated, lacking in motivation, and I became aware of like this sluggish heaviness settling in both my mind and my body. I was in a real funk. So this is what I did to get out of my funk and lift my mood. I changed out of my dark colored clothing into a Barbie pink dress. And because it was drizzling, I used my bright rainbow colored umbrella to banish the grayness. So I used color therapy. I walked to the nearby urban village to find a nice coffee shop. So I got some exercise, some movement in my body. And I enjoyed my delicious warm beverage in the cafe and I wrote this blog. And I indulged in my favorite pastime of people watching. So I had the comfort of being around other humans and their dogs. So I got some social connection. And then on the way home, I walked past my local park and I hid from the drizzle under one of those glorious Morton Bay fig trees. So I indulged in biophilia, which is the love of being around nature and seeing green things, green plants. So I am not suggesting that this is gonna magically wipe away major depression. I do not want to make light of that serious condition. But whether you are in the grips of the black dog of depression or whether you're just in a bit of a shitty mood, perhaps these five tips might help you. So if you've not been feeling yourself lately, here are five ways to get out of a funk. One, Use colour to brighten your mood. We actually use colour all the time in our language to describe how we're feeling. So we talk about the black dog of depression, feeling blue, seeing a red mist. Colour can evoke powerful emotions in us. And certain colours evoke a sense of energy, so yellow and pink, or danger, red. And in some cases, a sense of reliability and safety. So navy is one of those very conservative colors that provokes that feeling of safety. And play, Barbie pink, my Barbie pink dress. Now there is a whole science around the psychology of color and how you can use it to inform your mood or if how you want to convey how you're feeling inside. There is a little coffee table book called The Little Book of Color how to use the psychology of color to transform your life by Karen Heller and you can get it in all good bookstores. So perhaps selecting the colors to wear or to have around you in your home or in your office can significantly impact your mood and your sense of well-being. The second thing you can do is simple techniques to downregulate your nervous system. So many of us are operating either from a heightened state or we are stuck in a place of burnout, perhaps collapse. What's important to know is that the thoughts that you have mirror the state of your nervous system. So just by choosing to do something about the nervous system state you're in can impact your thinking. So try out this technique. I've got videos of it on my website, which I'll link to below, but we'll try out the butterfly hug. So if you were to hold your hands in front of your face, palms facing you, and cross your arms at your wrists, 
So you're making an X. And then interlink your thumbs, and then you've got like a butterfly. You know when you did shadow puppets when you were a kid? And then place that butterfly on your upper chest so it's on the bony flat bit. So it's, your fingers are below your collarbones because we don't want you to start feeling a little bit stifled or strangled. And we're just going to rest. So just leaving that soft pressure on your chest. And notice perhaps the warmth that's been generated between your fingers, your hands and your chest. And notice that as you breathe, your hands are being gently moved up and out. And notice if you like this or not, whether it feels calming. So that's the butterfly hug. The third thing I did was move my body. I was feeling stuck, heavy, stagnant. So I just walked five minutes to the local cafe. Your sense of vitality comes from movement and the sense of connecting with other humans. So if you reduce the movement and disconnect from your body and from others, that is a surefire recipe for feeling lifeless, sluggish and colourless. So just by moving your body, whether it's doing jumping jacks, whether it's dancing to a song in your kitchen, or whether it's walking, that's going to help you. The fourth thing I did was get some social connection. Social connection and social support act as protective elements for both your physical and your mental health. Good social connection is linked to thriving in your life. And it's associated with a 50% increase in the chance of longevity, i.e. living a long life. It's also associated with a strengthened immune system and better recovery from illness, a decrease in the level of depression and anxiety, higher levels of self-esteem, and it also leads to like a positive feedback loop where you start to feel better about yourself because you feel like you can trust other people and you feel empathy for them, which in turn improves your social connectedness. So this is positive loop from the more connection you get. And the last thing I did was go to the park. So I was being in a green space and there is evidence that being exposed to a natural environment or a green space, even if it's just plants in your living room, this is associated with less depression. So just getting out and seeing green plants is going to have a beneficial effect on your mood. And going forest bathing is even more beneficial because the trees give off phytochemicals which improve our health and well-being. Bless them. So tonight I'm going to go to bed early and woe betide any handyman using power tools at 7am for they will face the full wrath of this menopausal lady. Or at least a, a polite but devastatingly cutting request to shut the fuck up. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. I have a question for you. How do you want to feel today? Powerful? playful or present. Download my free guide, Feel Your Vava Voom in 60 Seconds and find out how.